Good afternooning, interwebs. Let's do a problem on enlargement and reductions. Um, here we go. Yes, get in the hang of this. Okay, so um, on your graph paper, which you should have, always good mathematicians, use a pencil and graph paper, always nice. Um, if available. So let's draw a rectangle with a width of 6 centimeters and a height of 8 centimeters. So width and height, we could think of this as the length um, equivalent terms there. So let's draw a rectangle. Um, I have this handy dandy rectangle making machine. So let's do this. I'm going to do a width of 6, that's 3, that's 4, 5, um, 6, and that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and a height of 8 centimeters. Whoa, okay, so um, that is 6 centimeters and 8 centimeters. And let's do some enlargements and reductions. Let's draw a similar one that is enlarged. 300%. So I want something that is 300% um, of this. So if I want um, to make it larger, let's multiply to make this larger. And if I'm multiplying something by 300%, that's three times as large. That's three times as large. 300% um, is the same thing as 300 hundredths. And 300 hundredths simplifies down to 3 over 1. So let's multiply this triangle. Let's make it 3 times as large. So enlarge by 3. And let's get that rectangle tool back out. And our new... Oh, what's happening here? Let's see. Here we go. All right, instead of a 6 by 8, we now have a, whoa, we now have an 18. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 by 24. Yikes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24. Oh, shoot. Lost count. All right. Let me pause it and I'll be right back. So I freaking nailed it. Um, this is 18 centimeters, 300% of, of 6 centimeters, and uh, 8 centimeters, 300% of that um, is 24 centimeters. So that's the enlargement. Um, if I were to take this shape, if I were to take this shape and stretch the corner of it here, if I were to stretch the corner of it three times as large, right, if I were to make it three times as large, oh, actually, let's do that. Well, it's going to mess it up. That's kind of cool, though. Um, three times as large, it would be, it would equal this guy. Let me see if I could do that. It's kind of cool. If I line it up, put it right inside there, and dragged it out. Ta-da! Three times as large, 300%. Um, so let's get it back to the original size. Six is right there. Okay, let's make it smaller. Um, so let's do, what, two-thirds? A reduction of um, two-thirds. Two thirds the original length. Let's move my face. There you go. Draw a similar rectangle with lengths that are two thirds of, two thirds of the original lengths. So let's make this smaller. Let's take um, two thirds of six, and let's take two thirds of eight. two-thirds of eight, um, and if I were to cut six into three pieces, I could do that. I could multiply these together. Let's do um, two-thirds of six. I can make that a fraction, six over one, 
and get uh, 12 thirds, um, which is equivalent to 4. So that's going to be my, um, this is going to be my uh, width there, is going to be 4 centimeters. If I cut 6 into 3 pieces and took 2 of them, um, 8 is a little bit more difficult, taking 2 thirds of 8, because 8 uh, doesn't split into 3 parts with a, a nice integer number. So um, let's see, that's 16 thirds, which is what? So there are 5 whole threes, there's five and one third centimeters. So let's draw that rectangle. So four centimeters by five and one third. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, and a third. Third, uh, uh, uh. that look good? I think that looks pretty darn good to me. So this is your, um, your reduced, your shape that's been reduced with a ratio of two thirds or two thirds of the original. So this would be four, four centimeters and five and one third centimeters. All right. Thank you guys very much. And I'll see you in the next video.